There's a robot now! God damn this game! I can't handle it. I can't handle it. My brain won't accept this. Hello and welcome back. For the rest of this episode, I'm gonna talk in claps. Oh, I've already messed it up. It's fine. Thanks for joining me once again. <laughs> uh, it's Corona Trigger. We're gonna go through Lab 32. There's gonna be a jet bike in here that I'm excited about. Um, I, I, I think that's awesome. I don't know what terrors await me. Is that the jet bike? That was easy, if so. Is it just it? Uh-oh, yep, there they are. Ooh, there's four of them. Are these Proto 2s? They might even be Proto 3s. I don't know, let's find out. What? What is happening? Hold it right there, okay. Whoa! Hey, it's the man. Is this Metaton? <laughs> I think this is Metaton. <clears throat> uh, what, what's a good Metaton voice? Hold on. All right, I got it. Like, thanks for the intro, babe. The man. You lowlifes can call me Johnny. Now listen up. Part of an old highway leads through these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike and don't chicken out, babe. Do you know how to ride? Sure. Yeah, totally, totally no. Wait, so this thing's not gonna fight me? Use that jet bike and don't check it out, babe. All right. This is so weird. I don't, whoa, what? Are you serious? Ow, ow, stop, ow, sorry. Hey, get out of my way. What the hell, are you kidding me? I feel like I'm not really doing much. I can kind of move up and down a little bit. It's just kind of circling around him. I don't know if I'm supposed to be hitting into him or not. Or what I can do to speed up. Oh, I hit B. That didn't really help me all that much. Kind of did, I don't know. This is... This is weird. Did I win? I don't know. <laughs> it's a racing game in the middle of it? What? I think I won. Yay. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if I'm hallucinating this. It's 3.30 in the morning. I can't handle this. My mind can't process what's happening right now. I beat him. There's a weird, like, there's a weird, just super weird robot race car. And he challenged me to a race in the middle of this RPG. You! You beat me! I don't get it! You can challenge me anytime! We'll ride the wind, babe! Alright, I gotta get out of here before my brain snaps in half because... Holy goddamn. What's this? What is this? A factory? Let's tr Why not? Actually, hold on. Let's... <laughs> that was the weirdest thing in the game so far. Honestly, there's been a lot of weird stuff in this game. That takes the cake. I feel like this game is a joke. <laughs> like, everything that's happening here, I feel like it's all a, like a bit. It's a prank. What's this now? It's acid? You have to fight acid? What the hell is happening? I almost did it. Oh, is it gonna hurt me though? Wait, why is it, why is it doing so little damage? It must have super high defense. That's weird. All right, cool. Well, I fought the acid. Is this like a... Um, is this like a tripwire or something? Why is there an arrow pointing up and, and... And and I can't do anything? What does this do? Nothing? Oh, oh, I can go through here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, hold on. I wasn't paying attention, but now I think I am. Okay, wait. Does this reverse the direction of those things? No, it does not. Okay. Well, then I don't, uh... I don't super know what I'm supposed to do then. Alright. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I can't do anything here. So, enough of that. 
Well, time, this is it. This is where the gate is. So I'm trying to get back to my own time? Or am I trying to get back to, um, just the 1999? So I come from the year 1000. Is that correct? Uh, because I went back in time 400 years to the year 600. So I'm in the future now at some point after 1999. So I guess that means that I want to go back in time to the th 1000, my, my time, the present. And there's probably going to be a way of stopping Lavos at that point. I don't even know what Lavos is except for that thing that showed up. Have I ever heard of this before? I don't know. This game, it's throwing a lot at me, and I don't know about it. I do know about fights, though. These I have a good handle on, so... These bugger, These nasty little buggers. Isn't that what uh, uh, Oliver Wood said in, in, in Harry Potter? It's nasty little buggers. So that's funny. I don't seem to be able to attack these things mul multiple, because they're too far away, so I gotta do one at a time, which... I don't appreciate that. I wish they were closer together so I could hit them all at once better. You know what? I can handle it. I'm 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 a big strong strong man. I'm I'm an I'm a, I'm an adult. Hey, guess what? By the way, um, I've previously talked about my job search uh, endeavors in this in this show about how I'm trying to find a job. I used to work at a place, a print shop, where I was an IT guy. And uh, I would record this show at work after hours. And um, I, I was in college for a while. I did that. I, I graduated. I'm done. By the way, I don't know if I've announced that. That's like an official thing. I've completely graduated. I've done with all my classes. I've done it. I my gra my diploma is on its way. It's in the mail. <laughs> I assure you, it's in the mail. It'll be here. Um, so that that'll get here. I'll show that off when I finally get it. Um, yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm officially graduated. I have a degree. It's just I don't have it yet, but I have it. And uh, I'm trying to find a job. I've been trying to find an engineering job because that's my degree, you know. But it's coronavirus times, and that's really tough. So what I've decided to do, this would be perfect uh, fire whirl situation. Yes, I can even do three. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then attack that one. So what I've decided to do is look for an IT job in the meantime until things are, are more tangible and you can be in a workshop with people or whatever, or in an engineering firm. So that's what I'm working on right now is trying to find a job in IT. And I have an interview on Wednesday. I'm currently recording this. It's Saturday. Actually, it's Sunday morning. It's 3.30 in the morning. God damn. Uh, and that's going to be fun. By the time this comes out, I will have had that interview. Maybe it went poorly, so I don't know. I can't say that I will have a job at that point, but who knows? And I don't have no idea what that will mean for the future of this show. I assume I'll still be able to record this at work after hours, my old work now, current work that's on hiatus because of coronavirus. Boy, it's a weird time. What's this? What's the Enertron? Use it? Sure, why not? Oh, right, this is how you sleep, but you're still hungry. What a weird game this is. Is that to explain why those people can like live forever, but be hungry and they need food? Turn on, please. Open up, please. What's this? Oh, I guess Marl's gonna take care of it. Uh, what's this? Yeah, good question. Okay, now it's Lucas' turn. It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible! Can I get in it? Can I wear the suit? That'd be awesome. I think I can fix it. Yeah, do it. That'd be great. Why? It might attack us. Yeah. Uh, I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. Uh, humans make them that way. Oh, that's cool. That's very forward thinking of this game. Luca, you pity them, don't you? Forgot who I was for a second. Let me get to work now, okay? Shut up, Marl. I get, yeah, I guess we'll just wait, huh? The door won't budge. Are we literally just sitting here hanging out and just waiting for her? Is that really what's going on here? That's weird. This game is weird. All right, I'm gonna give it some juice. Do it, give it some juice. I'd like some juice, that'd be good. What's alive? It's up. Oh, it's freaking out. 
Get away, step back. Uh, oh, robot. Good morning. Mo, <laughs> good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress, I'm Maro. And this is Chrono. And Luca here fixed you. There's a robot now! God damn this game! I can't handle it. I can't handle it. My brain won't accept this. Understood. Madam Luca fixed me. Just... Just Luca will do. Impossible. That would be rude. Hey, I program... I programmed you. I can destroy you. Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Marl? Hate them! I under... I understand, Luca. All right. All right. Now, what's your name? Name? Name. Uh, my serial number. It is R66-Y. R66-Y? Cool. No, that won't do at all. RX, huh? Rex, I'm gonna call you Rex. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Come on, Chrono. Let's give him a better name. Robo. I kind of want to call him Rex, but I've been pretty consistent at leaving these names what they are. If I was going to name anybody, I would name everybody Link, so... Robo! That's... that's perfect. Your new name is Robo, right, okay? But I'm going to call him Rex anyway. I am... Rex. Data storage complete. Hey, Robo, why aren't there any people here? I don't know. <laughs> I've been dead for the past thousand years. What? What has happened here? There were many humans, and others of my kind, in this dome! I think something awful happened here. Something awful forums? Dot dot dot. It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? Oh, we came through a time- We came from a time war from the year 1000. While exploring Aristome, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. Ah, uh, but the door to the inner chambers is locked, so we're out of luck. Yes, and now tell me, why is that red spiky-haired fellow not saying anything? Oh, he doesn't talk. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're out of luck. What's, what, are, what are you doing there? The power is off. Okay. If we go to the factory up north, I could pass through the security and activate this dome's generator. I told you it would be important later. You do that for us? You repaired me. Now it's my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. Oh, it's a classic one of those, so it has to stay behind. Then Marl or I will stay. Who will stay behind? Uh-oh, I don't want this to happen. Oh, I don't want to make a choice. No! Stop! Whoever I leave behind is going to die for sure. Uh, okay, let's think about this. So what... Let's let's think about this in a in a in a in a, in a narcissistic perspective. What can they do for me? Now, Marl is good at healing, and that's important because I lose health a lot. Uh, whereas Luca is good for damaging because they had that fire whirl, and especially hey, here's something to consider: if Luca stays behind and I fight more of those shadow things, I honestly don't know how I would do damage to them unless. The robot fights with me and can do damage. I don't know for sure, though. That's an unknown, and I'm not about unknowns. I'm going to leave Marl behind. That's it. Okay, please be careful, Chrono. Yeah, Marl, you too. Don't die, for the love of Christ. Hi! I was getting so bored. May I take Luca's place? No. Stay. Okay, I'll wait here. You stay here. You rot here, Marl. I really hope this wasn't a terrible mistake, because... I feel like this game is all about... Well, actually, I don't feel like this game is all about choices, but... I don't know. Maybe there's some choice elements here. Not like choice elements, like choice elements, but like choice elements. I don't know. The factory ruins! Great! Uh, okay. So we're in the factory now. Now we're in the factory. So this is where this comes into play. Oh, well, well let's actually wait and find out what our robot friend can do. Uh, Robo. Tin arm, iron helm, titan vest. Defender. Are any of these better for you? No. What about these? No. What about these? No. What about these? No. Can't do anything. All right. Let's check out your tech. What can you do? Rocket punch. Hell yes, dude. And cure beam. 
Okay, so he can heal. Maybe he does what- maybe he does both. Punch enemy. Maybe this is like special damage so it would hurt the shadows. And also cure beams so it would, um, heal. So maybe no matter who I left behind, Robo would take their place. That's good. And then laser spin, that's awesome. I definitely want to get that at some- soon. That's what I want to do. Alright, so can I walk through here? Do I have to like... Yeah, I guess I gotta do this- this nonsense. Alright. Do it. Hey, there we go! Yeah! Awesome. Override security system zero zero! Oh no! Now there's an acid. It's okay. I wanna see what, uh, I wanna see what Robo can do. Let's use that rocket punch. That sounds awesome. Oh my god. Here we go, rocket punch. Yeah! Ow. I'm okay. I do not feel pain. Not programmed for owies. <laughs> Alright, well I didn't do a lot of damage, but I guess it did more than two, which I think is what Marl did? I don't remember. It's been so long. How can I be expected to remember at a time like this? It's three in the morning. It's three thirty. It's three forty in the morning. It's ridiculous, dude. What is this? Oh, it's an elevator. Cool. Uh, there were two of them, and I took this one. So hopefully the other one was not like better. Where was the other? I want to get to the other one. I don't. I don't understand this level layout. What is this? What is this? What is- what's on the wall here? What is this? What- what is this? What is any of this? <sighs> oh no! What's in here? What is this? What is this? Oh no! I can't handle it! I cannot handle it! Oh, okay. Uh, it's a robot factory. It's making robots. That's pretty cool. Do I gotta shut this place down? Is that the whole thing here? Got a robin bow. Is that good? Who can use the robin bow? Let's find out. Uh, what's... I didn't know. I didn't know that this was here. I didn't know that this scrolled down so far. Why do I have so much inventory space? Why can it do this? Why can I do this? Why is it letting me do this? I- this wasn't here earlier, right? Like this is- is this a glitch or something? I feel like that's gotta be a glitch or something because I feel like I've been here before and I have not seen This that's ridiculous. Oh Marl great. Well, I don't have Marl so that's a waste of time That was weird Like I'm, I'm wrong. I'm not wrong, right? Like I'm right wrong. No, right? No. Wrong? I'm not wrong. I'm right. Wrong? Wrong? No? I think I'm correct because <laughs> I, I, I've been to the the options and that has never once been a, a thing. Also, this is freaking me out too. Oh! 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 Uh oh! Ooh! Ah! This isn't good. Oh, you don't want to be- you don't want this. Oh, okay. It's just a fight. Proto 3! Now, if this were real life and you got picked up by like a robot factory in the future, I feel like you would just be eviscerated into metal shards like immediately. Like there's no good outcome there. But I guess I'm fine, so. Boom! Hey, nice! 81? It's not bad. And you dealt the killing blow. Yar. Awesome. I don't know why I was put in this room. I, I can't move either, so... I guess we'll just take... end up where the seas take us. You know what, can I pause this? I can. We're gonna do this in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Tune in in two days for this weird game. When I... You know what? <laughs> Chrono Trigger is a game that I think... It, it's famous, obviously. Like, this game is a game that people talk about. Nobody talks about how weird it is. <laughs> like, I've never heard people say that it's like a bizarre game before. People just say it's a good game. It's a classic game. I don't think I've ever heard anybody be like, yeah, that game is wacko. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to orient myself, understand this game better. And then the next episode, 
We're going to fight these robots and get through the factory. I can't wait. See you then, everybody. Goodbye.